If you're using one of the Power BI gateways, I'm gonna share with you what you need to know about the on-premises data gateway that's coming up. Hi, I'm Adam Saxon, and welcome to Guy in the Cube, a channel dedicated to helping you and your company gain insights by learning and growing on the Microsoft Business Intelligence stack. And today I wanna to share with you what you need to know about the new on-premises data gateway and how that affects you if you're using an existing Power BI gateway. Wait, there's a new gateway? Yeah, it came out about a week or two ago. It's called the on-premises data gateway. And if you've been using the Power BI Gateway for enterprises, functionally, it's still the same. So there's nothing really that you need to change in order to continue to use it. So how do I get it? That's a great question. All you have to do is go into Power BI and go to the download area and choose Data Gateway. And when you choose that, you'll get a single executable to install. From a Power BI perspective, when you run this installer, you'll get a choice of either the on-premises data gateway or the personal gateway. The personal gateway is still there and nothing's changed from that perspective. If you choose personal gateway and go next, it'll actually just run the old personal gateway installer that you're used to. If you choose the on-premises data gateway and you previously had the Power BI gateway for enterprise, it will actually do an in-place upgrade for you right there. So any gateways that you've previously had configured or any recovery keys that you've put in place, those are all still valid and nothing changed. You're not going to lose any of that configuration. All the data sources that you've configured for those gateways, everything is still there. It still works with the new on-premises data gateway. So why did it change? Yeah, the, the big reason for changing to the on-premises data gateway is the fact that it can now be used with other services outside of Power BI. So the services you can use this with is Power Apps, Microsoft Flow, and Logic Apps. And what's nice is that if you had previously configured a gateway, that gateway is still usable with those other services without any additional configuration. For example, if I go into Power Apps and I actually go to the gateways area, I'll actually see the gateway that I had previously registered with Power BI. So that gateway is shared between those services. I only need to install it one time and it can be used with all of those services. The data sources are a little different story currently. If you've configured a data source for use inside of Power BI, that doesn't translate to the other services. So in the case of Power Apps, you won't see that connection listed there. You'll see the gateway, but the connection, which is the equivalent of a data source on the Power BI side, you'll have to recreate it on the Power Apps side. And then Microsoft Flow and Logic Apps don't have that same kind of configuration. If you're using the personal gateway, that does not apply to the other services. The other services can't take advantage of that. They can only take advantage of the on-premises data gateway. So how does all this work? So it's gonna be bound to your tenant with your organizational login. And so you'll wanna make sure that you're logging in with that same credential across those different services in order to take advantage of the on-premises data gateway. Some of the things to be aware of is that items like the log files and event logs, some of those things have changed because of the rename. And so be sure to check the documentation and I'll have that link down below so that you can figure out where all of that information is if you need to troubleshoot any aspect of the gateway. Any other questions, Spud? Yeah, where did everything go? Yeah, you, you may have noticed stuff's kind of gone. I'm packing up and heading to Houston. If you didn't catch the video, check out the announcement video and I'll link that over there and you can see kind of what's going on and what the plan is so things are changing so does that mean i'm going in a box yep okay go ahead and leave your questions down below in the comments area and i will get back to them if there's anything i didn't cover that you may be questioning go ahead and leave that down below and if you like this video or it's your first time here, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more great content. Every Tuesday, I do a technical item such as this, where I look at either how to troubleshoot something, how something works, or just look at a new feature. And then every Thursday, I do an information roundup where I look at the last week, find things that were interesting to me, and share that out with you. And really, this is about you. I wanna help you be more effective and successful in the things that you do. So go ahead and subscribe and be part of the conversation.